you finally decided to start skateboarding. So today, I am here to teach you all the basics you need to know before you start learning new tricks. Surprisingly, the poll on my YouTube channel shows that a lot of you guys want to start skateboarding ASAP. First things first, I want you guys to remember that skateboarding is probably one of the most technical sports in the world, so progress will not come easily at all. And even though it may look effortless when pros do tray flips, kick flips, and so on, you will realize how many weeks or months they needed to perfect each and every trick. You're going to slam and you're going to get hurt, but as long as you get back up and try again, not only you will learn some sexy new skate tricks, but you're also going to build a strong mental health that is going to help you in your everyday life. So the three steps you are going to learn today is riding, pushing, and curving. Let's go! Ow. That hurt. Let's go! So first, for riding, you're going to have to figure out if you're goofy or regular. This is a big question when people start skating, but both stances are essentially the same, similar to being left-handed or right-handed. And if you have never ridden any board sports before, you still don't know what stance you are. So usually skaters use their dominant foot as the back foot on the skateboard to make it easier to control. For example, my dominant foot is the right one and so my right foot is on the tail of the skateboard. And if you do not know what is your dominant foot, have someone push you from the back and with whichever foot you brace yourself with, that will be your dominant back foot. Now for the second part, the balance. You may have realized once you're on the board and moving, it might not be too easy to stay on it for a while. So here's a little cheat code. The more separated your feet are, the more stable you will be. And that is why you should definitely start out with your feet spread out on the board. Once you got that down, you should practice slowly tilting forward and then backward. And practice this motion until you get the feel of the board. This step is very important as it will teach you how to balance your body weight and make sure you do not fall. We're getting close guys, now for the final part, you're going to learn how to push. So a lot of people have problems with this step as the position when you push might be a bit confusing. Most skaters push in this position facing completely forward. So this might be complicated at first as the balance is a bit harder. So I recommend you start pushing with your front foot slightly angled. This will help you a lot for balancing your body when you're pushing. And once you're more comfortable, you can start taking larger steps to go even faster. Being part of the 0-1% of the world who skateboard is not a mission for everyone. And most people give up after a few days or weeks because getting comfortable with the skateboard takes a lot of time and effort. But if you are truly motivated to become a skater and not a poser, all the hours you put in will be humongously rewarded. And I recommend you skate almost every day for less than an hour and you will not regret it. If you want more skateboarding tutorials, subscribe right now as I will be teaching you new trick tips every week. Keep shredding!